Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss batch sterilization. Batch sterilization is the most commonly used uh, sterilization procedure. It is the reduction of contaminant organisms through the heating of the vessel. The entire volume of the media is sterilized at once through the use of thermal or radiation techniques. All right. So what are the kinetics of batch sterilization we will see? Now it has been seen that the destruction of microorganisms by moist heat is a type of first order rate equation given by minus dn dt is equal to kn where n is the number of viable organisms present t is the time of sterilization treatment k is the reaction rate constant of the specific death rate all right so if we integrate this first let us transpose so uh, dn by n is equal to k dt now we are integrating this equation so we are integrating this equation so this will be from 0 to t all right this will be from 0 to t and say this is from n naught to n t so if we integrate this thing what will we get we will get ln nt by n naught is equal to minus kt. All right. So now, the, the if we, we can write this as nt by n naught is equal to e to the power of minus kt. So we can compare this with y is equal to mx plus c. C is zero here and m is minus k. All right. So because of this minus sign. This is the equation of a straight line with a negative slope. So this is the graph of ln nt by n0 is equal to minus kt. So as you can see ln nt by n0 is plotted on the y axis and time is plotted on the x axis and the slope of this graph is equal to minus k. So this is the equ equation of a straight line with a negative slope. All right. Now we can write this as ln nt by n0 is minus kt. This can also be written as nt by n0 is equal to e to the power of minus kt. So the destruction of microorganisms or the death of the microorganisms can be written in exponential form as well. So if we plot nt by n0 in the y axis and time on the x axis, this will represent an exponential curve, exponential decaying curve. So this is the curve. Now why it is decaying? Because with time more number of microorganisms will be reduced. All right. More number of microorganisms will be dead. So as time increases, the curve gradually decays. Now we will see some cases that might occur in batch sterilization. So the first case shows this graph where you will see the initial population, there is an initial population increase. So this portion has increased. Afterwards, this cur curve has started to decrease. Now, why has this uh, curve first increased and then decreased? Because it is because of the heat activation of spores. So what happens in heat activation of spores? In batch sterilization, you heat the media. So the media may contain some spores of the bacteria. So initially because of the heat, the spores become activated and the spores germinate to give rise to bacterial cells. So that's why there is an initial increase that may be observed in batch sterilization, which corresponds to the increase in number of bacterial cells. Thereafter, as time passes on with the increase in the heat and the temperature, more number of bacterial cells die and so the number of living organisms gradually decrease and so the curve gradually decays. This may be one case. Another case that might occur we will see here is there may be an initial stationary phase and then you may observe the decadence of the curve. Okay. So now why this stationary phase may be observed it is because the number of death of the spores may be compensated by the heat activation of spores. So what may happen during the initial stages of the heating and batch sterilization, the number of spores which are germinating by the heat activation may be balanced 
by the number of spores which have been dead because uh, of the heat of sterilization. So, an initial stationary phase may be observed. Thereafter, that the curve continues to decrease as more the temperature increases, more and more microorganisms gradually rise. This is the second case. Now, there may be a third case where in an initial decline may be observed, small decline and then a gradual decline in the curve may be observed. It may be observed due to uh, the death of the spores being compensated by the heat activation of the spores. Alright, so if the death of the spores is compensated by the heat activation of spores, there may be a small decline in initial stages followed by a rapid decline in the later stages of the sterilization. Now this can occur, these three cases can occur during batch sterilization. Alright, now what will happen in case of mixed cultures? Sterilizations of media containing mixed cultures, let us see. So now we will see what will happen if a media contains two types of microorganisms. Alright, so suppose we have a media containing sensitive organisms as well as resistant organisms. So the solid lines here represent sensitive organisms. So this is the line representing sensitive organisms. Alright, and the bigger dashed lines mm, represent the resistant organisms. So these are the lines representing resistant organisms. Alright. So these are the lines representing resistant organisms. So suppose you have a media where the number of sensitive organisms is higher. So what will happen the sterilization kinetics of that media? So what will happen to the sterilization kinetics of the entire media? Okay. So initial decline uh, then the number of cells will be because of the uh, destruction of the sensitive organisms and later on the, the decline in the number of cells will be, be number of microorganisms will be because of the decline in the uh, resistant population. So there will be two phases. The first part of the curve corresponds to the destruction of sensitive organisms and later part of the curve corresponds to the destruction of the resistant organisms. So this will be the sterilization characteristic of the entire media having high proportion of sensitive organisms than the resistant organisms. Alright, so, so we will see another curve where the number of resistant organisms is higher. Alright, so suppose okay, like before this solid line represent the curve for the sensitive organisms. Alright, so this solid line represents the curve of a sensitive organism and this bigger dashed lines represents the curve of the resistant organisms and here the number of resistant organisms is much higher. So, the sterilization kinetics of the entire media will be the same as the number of resistant organisms. So, it means that the, st uh, the sterilization curve will be entirely due to the destruction of the resistant populations and not because of the destruction of the sensitive populations. So, in general what happens, the sterilization curve tries to follow the nature of that curve whose population is higher. Alright. 